Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, so in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to install Windows 11 or Windows 10, if you prefer, on your Raspberry Pi using Linux. And for this tutorial, I am going to be running Raspberry Pi OS on my Raspberry Pi just to make it easier so you can also follow this. And why would you want to do this? Well, if you don't have a Windows 10 or a Windows 11 computer, Installing Windows on the Raspberry Pi has already has always been really hard. Installing from Linux, it was possible, but only through the command line, and it just was pretty hard. But now, thanks to some hard work from Botspot, the creator of Pi Apps, and Mariob, the creator of the Windows on Raspberry flashing tool, we can now install Windows 10 with kind of a gra graphical user interface on our Raspberry Pi using Linux. But for this, you will need a Debian or Ubuntu-based distro. So this can work on your normal PC as far as I understand. But for this tutorial, like I said again, we will be running just plain Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit on our Raspberry Pi. So I'll show you guys right here. This is just normal Raspberry Pi OS, the 32-bit version, still running Debian 10. All right, so now let's head over to the website to get started to install this on a Raspberry Pi. So right here, here is the Windows and Raspberry official website, and it says how to install from other OSs. So if you scroll down here, there's a lot of information. And before you had to like install it through the terminal, but right here you see this little thing right here. It says if you have an Ubuntu Debian based machine, there's now a script available that automates the whole process. So you click on this link, or all these links will also be linked right below in the description so you can go ahead and click them from there. But right here, here we have BotSpot's GitHub page and it's called the WOR Flasher. So WOR Flasher, use a Linux machine to install Windows 10 or Windows 11 on a Raspberry Pi SD card. So it says a year ago, this was flat out impossible. In July, 2021, they require following a complicated tutorial. Now using the new WOR Flasher, it's a piece of cake. So he, they really have put a lot of hard work into this and I think it's gonna be pretty cool to be able to do it. And the reason this is, this tool is 100% legal. Everything it's downloading, it's downloading Windows from the official Microsoft servers. So you don't need to worry about any legal issues or anything like that. This is completely safe and it is legal. So to, so to download the WOR flasher, we're gonna just copy the script, click this button right here and open up your terminal. You can go, you can go control alt T if you like. And then we're just gonna paste this little script right in here. It's gonna download it from GitHub and it's already done. So now we copy this one right here to run the WR flasher. And before I do mention, we will need another SD card, USB drive, or some type of other device to be installing Windows 10 on. Since if you're if you're running this on a Raspberry Pi, you're not gonna wanna install Windows on the same drive you're running the Raspberry Pi OS from. It's not gonna work like that. So I'm gonna be using an extra SD card I have plugged in with the SD card adapter into my Raspberry Pi to be able to do this. So yeah. So we're gonna paste this in right here and just hit enter. It's gonna start installing all the needed packages because it's actually using YAD for the graphical user interface, which is kind of like a tool that Botspot uses in almost all of his applications, including Pi apps. So let this thing get all the needed dependencies and then we'll just go right ahead and install it. So here there's more information on the GitHub page if you need it, but or you can just follow this tutorial because I will go through almost every step of the way to show you guys how to do it in a very easy and simple way. So let's let this thing just completely finish downloading everything needed and then we'll be ready. All right, here we go. Here we're gonna start right now. It says, welcome to Windows on Raspberry. This wizard will help you install the full desktop version of Windows on your Raspberry Pi computer. So I personally, I like Windows, Windows 11 more and it actually has better performance on the Raspberry Pi over Windows 10. So I'm gonna select Windows 11 right here. But like I said, you can go ahead and choose Windows 10 if you want. And I'm gonna go a Pi 4 and a Pi 400. So I'm gonna click next, give it a second right here. And the language you want, I do want English from the United States, so I'll be clicking that one right here. You have to click this circle right here. There we go, I want English, United States. I'm gonna click next. And the device to flash, I only have one device right here, and this is my SD card that I mentioned a little bit earlier. So click the device you want, click next. 
get a second and it says installation over overview so make sure the target drive is is correct mine is a 60 gigabyte sd card and hardware type is a raspberry pi 4 and my operating system is going to be windows 11 the latest insider build if you can see right here it's an arm 64 build 2020 or 22,000 and that's that's the correct build i want you can edit the config.txt if you like like overclocking you, you could go ahead and overclock right now but i personally don't really want to do that right now i'm going to click flash click flash it opens up another window right here and now it's saying it basically will give you information about what it's doing but downloading the windows iso does take a little while so what you're going to need to do right now you're going to need to leave your raspberry pi on, pi on and let this thing do its thing because it will take quite a long time but just be patient let this download all the needed files and you'll be good to go Alrighty guys, so after a pretty hefty amount of time, it is finally done. And it actually shows this little image right here when it's done by accidentally hit the X before I started recording. But so I'll be showing you guys what we're gonna do. So you see the terminal right here, it says the terminal running install at war ace has been closed. So now we have got everything we need installed on our SD card. So if we look on this image right here, it says boot up the SD card, this screen should appear, which is what it normally does. Don't worry, the screen is not frozen. So this installation method actually is a bit different than the Windows version if you've done that before. So it's after 30 minutes, the WOR installer will, will begin extracting Windows to the SD card. It will reboot the system when finished. So with this process, there's still a lot more time that's gonna happen after we boot this up so it says you basically have to wait 30 minutes on this raspberry pi logo which i it's new to me too but we'll try it out so what you're going to want to do right now turn off your raspberry pi unplug the device that you're running raspberry pi os from and just leave the device that you're running that you're going to be running windows on leave that in there turn your raspberry pi on and you'll see this little raspberry pi logo right here and just leave it on for about 30 minutes and then we'll start extracting so let's boot straight into that all right so exactly like it said on that image from the wor installer it's going to be waiting on this raspberry pi logo right here for a little while so just leave this going and i'm actually going to leave this on time slap and hopefully add this into the video later and speed it up so you guys can see how the process actually looked but yeah i'm going to leave this on you see we have a little windows logo going right there so just let this thing do its thing and yeah just be patient Alrighty ladies and gentlemen, so after another very long process, I actually timed that with OBS and for that installation process, after we booted up, it took about 50 minutes for me to get to where I am right now. So that was definitely a long, long way. But one reason for that could be that I am running on SD card and it's not my fastest SD cards, or it really isn't one of the faster SD cards. So if you were running Windows 10 or Windows 11 off an SSD drive, I would guarantee you that that process would be a lot faster. But yeah, so here we are. So let's go through the setup real fast. Is this the right country or region? Yeah, so just set up Windows 11 basically like you'd set up any other PC. There really isn't anything you have to know. You just type in all the needed credentials. You do everything. And of course, Wi-Fi isn't gonna work. So in the network area, you might wanna hit skip. 
other than that go through this setup just as normal and you'll after it's done you'll have windows 11 up and running on your raspberry pi Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are finally in Windows 11. So right here, you can just hit OK right here. That's really not an issue. But, I mean, just hit OK again. This is just going to create a page file for us. But we are finally in Windows 11, and my resolution might look a bit strange right now. That is because I am running this at 720p just for some better performance, and that's what it defaulted to. I never had the option to change it yet. But now, let's look at our task manager, and you see, I mean, it, it's a, it does look a bit slow right now, but there are some ways to speed this up, and like I said, I am running this off an SD card, which really can affect the performance. So let's go over to the performance tab and our CPU right here. Also overclocking does help a little bit, but right here we're running at 1.5 giga gigahertz. Our memory, look, this is also an issue. We It's only showing three gigabytes of RAM right now. Don't worry guys, there's an easy way to fix that. So to fix that, we're actually gonna have to reboot our machine. Click the start menu and click this little button right here. Now, if you do this, you'll be able to access all of your RAM. Like this is an eight gigabyte Pi I have right here. So soon we'll be able to access all eight gigabytes of it rather than just three gigabytes of it. So wait till it's done restarting. Once it's done restarting, we're gonna be pressing the escape button. So get ready to hit the escape button once this is done restarting. So when you see the screen come on in one minute, just hit the escape button. All right, so right now just hit the escape button and you see now we kind of have a BIOS type of setting menu in our Raspberry Pi. So we're gonna wanna go over down here to device manager scroll down to raspberry pi configuration click that and go to advanced configuration limit ram to three gigabytes right now it's enabled we want to hit that hit enter click disabled then hit f10 to save it hit y to confirm and now once we reboot back into the system we'll have access to all of our ram obviously if you're running this on two gigabyte pi you're not going to need to disable that because it's not going to do anything <laughs> But yeah, so that's about it for that. And yeah, so there are some more settings in here that you can go through and look later on, but that's basically the only really important one that's gonna affect the performance. So hit continued right here. Hit enter to reset. It's gonna reboot our machine one more time. And then once we're done, we'll be booted back into Windows 11. I wanna show you guys a few more things, then we'll close up this video. Alrighty, so now we're booted up into our desktop with Windows 11 and we have access to all 8 gigabytes of our RAM on our Raspberry Pi. But I just want to show you guys a few things before we ended this video. So this is still real Windows 11, but a few things are different. Like a lot of the special effects that you'll see in Windows 11 on the desktop versions aren't going to be working on here like the rounded corners and just the all cool digital effects that you're going to see and the main reason for that is we're we are still missing gpu drivers on windows on raspberry pi which is kind of a bummer but without gpu drivers we just don't have access to some of those things but one awesome tool that's created by the creator of the windows on raspberry pi discord server which i will leave a link to in the description below you should totally join there but the admin amir he has actually worked on making the windows on raspberry control panel which really does help a lot and just you can customize a lot of settings so i downloaded it from the discord server right there and then there is a light mode and there also is a dark mode but right now i'm just set to light mode by default and my if you can tell right now my cpu is maxed out and my ram is pretty high but probably the biggest reason for that is I am running this without debloating it, which I could do if I wanted to. And the second reason, I am running this from an extremely, not extremely, but a pretty slow SD card. So upping your storage option will definitely improve performance, plus debloating will also help. But that's basically, you can see those things, you can go to the applications tab. In applications, there are a couple of applications that you can download from here that are native to ARM which means that they're that they'll natively work on here they are not going to be emulated and there is like there's nine of them in here and they're pretty cool so i would recommend checking that out and then in settings right here there's actually some more settings that we can do i don't know what that was about 
but in settings huh why is cmd opening up okay here we got settings right here so we have our present our processor frequency so you can really overclock your raspberry pi all from the windows and raspberry control panel you can also change your resolution but all these settings right here are going to require a reboot to go in effect so do keep, keep that in mind but they work really well and it's nice to be able to control all those things so easily just on windows on a raspberry pi so that is the windows on raspberry control panel and the discord server really is a big help if you ever have any issues any questions just join up this server you can ask there we'll all be there to help you and it's a great community so yeah i mean this is how to install windows 11 on your raspberry pi 4 using linux you don't need a windows computer anymore the, the process does take quite a long time as you saw if you do try yourself you'll see but what i did like is i just like that it's possible i mean you can now install windows 11 on your raspberry pi using linux it's just a really cool concept and of course this isn't for daily usage it's just more for playing around but i recommend you guys trying this out too if you have any comments about this video or any questions about how do i do this or anything let me know down below in the comments or hit it up on the discord server but yeah it'd be amazing to subscribe maybe that like button or even follow me over on twitter at luke everinner and yeah thanks for watching